everyone. Are you ready to be amazed? I'm always ready to be amazed. Then listen to what the Bible has to say about the Holy Spirit. Does it mention if the Holy Spirit can sink a three-pointer? No, it does not. Does it mention if the Holy Spirit is a good cook? No, it doesn't. Does it mention if the Holy Spirit can help us share Jesus with others? No, it doesn't. I mean, yeah, it totally does. Jesus had promised his disciples that he would send the Holy Spirit to help them. And on a special holiday called Pentecost, he did it. Pentecost? Sounds expensive. Uh, Pentecost was a holiday where people would celebrate the first crops of the harvest. The disciples were all hanging out in some room, and suddenly there was this loud whooshing noise, like a big gust of wind. It was the Holy Spirit, can you even imagine? The Holy Spirit made them brave, and they went outside and started talking about Jesus to everyone. Oh man, the Holy Spirit helped them, all right? They could suddenly speak different languages to all these people who had come from very far away. They told people about Jesus, and many of the people believed and became Jesus' followers too. That's like all fine and good for them, but what does that mean for us here and now? Oh, the Holy Spirit is still working today. He lives inside us when we trust in Jesus and helps us tell Jesus' story. But Jesus says he's also our paraclete. Oh, I have a pair of cleats I wear for soccer. Guys, being a paraclete means the Holy Spirit does a lot of things for us. Paraclete. He's an advocate. Oh, right. That means he's like a really wise lawyer who defends us. Got it. Being a paraclete also means he's our counselor. Like a life guide or a really great coach. It also means he's our helper. He helps us through our struggles. You still haven't mentioned what that means for people today. Well, Jesus said the Holy Spirit lives inside his disciples. And he said God will give the Holy Spirit to anyone who asks. And we get to be disciples too. We just have to put our trust in Jesus and God gives us the Holy Spirit to live inside of us and be our helper. And the Holy Spirit changes us to be more like Jesus. And as we let the Spirit guide us, He gives us strength and power to withstand sin and get closer and closer to God. So when we become disciples, the Holy Spirit lives inside us and helps us and guides us so that we can be more like Jesus and grow closer to God. I can think of nothing more lovely than this.